Hey guys, uh, this is Dooley. Uh, in this video, we will continue talking about the emitter, the event emitter API. And uh, today we'll focus on the remove listener function. Uh, so this is a function that will allow us uh, to stop a listener from listening to a particular event. So we'll provide the event name here and the listener name here. So the setup I have here is not different from what you've seen before. I'm pulling the event emitter object from the events module. Uh, creating a class from that and getting an instance of that class here which is emitter to use throughout the program. I've got an object here that I'll be using later on to keep track of uh, how many times a listener is fired. I have a listener here that I created uh, outside of the call to on uh, just because I want I want to be able to refer back to the name because when you want to remove a listener you need to provide the name of that function. Okay, so here I'm emitting, I'm actually listening for the data event and firing the data listener. And here we are emitting the data event every second. So let's run this and see what it does. And what we expect it to do is every second uh, a data event occurred will be printed. All right, so let's run this. Make sure we're on the same page. All right, so the, every second this is emitted. But what we'd like to do here is just at some point, remove that uh, that uh, data listener from uh, from the array of listeners that fires after the data event occurs okay so the way so let's say you want to do this do this based on time let's say you want this to be stopped after four seconds for example what you could do is set a uh, timeout here Can set a timeout and uh, create a function here that will do something. Okay, we want to do it uh, after four seconds. Okay, all right, so what we want to do is remove that listener, provide the name of the event that's data, and then the listener is data listener. Okay, so what this will do effectively is after four seconds, that listener will be removed from that array, and the data event will still will still be will still be emitted. However, the listener will no longer be fired. So let's run this and see what we get. So one, two, three. After that, no, it's no longer listening. The data is still being emitted. The interval is still going on. However, the listener is no longer listening. All right, so that's one way of uh, doing it okay it's time based and this is not guaranteed uh, to stop at exactly four seconds what it guarantees is it, it will happen either at four seconds or later on and right, so say so you don't want that uncertainty uh, you want uh, uh, for example for it to happen after a certain number of time that listener is called okay so that's why I have this object here what you could do is increment that data count uh, property of that object uh, whenever that listener is fired. So you could say emitter options that data count. Okay, so you increment that here. And then inside here, every second, what you want to do is check. Check whether or not data count is at the same value as data limit because uh, let's say this is the number of times you'd like to. Uh, for this to happen. The number of time you'd like for the listener to, to listen and after that point you want to stop listening. Okay, so what you want to do here is listen, is take, use a check here. Okay, so emitter options, that data count. If that happens, uh, emitter options at data limit. Okay, what you could decide to do here is not actually remove the options. What you could say is uh, emit another event. Okay, you could say emitter dot emit. Uh, what's the name of that event? Uh, let's call it remove remove data. Okay, so what I will use this for is to know when to stop 
a function okay so what I can do here is use that emitter and listen for that event the event is remove data and then I get a function here to remove that listener so what you will say here is emitter dot remove listener that listener is listening to the data event and that listener is the data listener okay so what we expect to happen here is that whenever the data count becomes equal to data limit and which we are incrementing every time that data listener is fired uh, and that limit is six so the sixth time this is fired okay it will stop the uh, it will stop the listening for that event so let's go ahead and run this and see what's happening one two three four five six and then it stopped listening okay all right so let's go ahead and print the data the emitter options object here every second let's get a print out of it so console that there okay let's print the emitter options okay and let's just print it in colors oops that's going to be true all right so let's uh Let's see what we're getting. Okay. All right. Four, five, six, and then no more. Okay. So we're removing uh, that uh, emitter uh, by uh, firing this event and listening for it. Whenever we hear it, uh, we remove that uh, data listener from the data event. So this is how you you can. Uh, uh, use the remove listener function uh, as long as you provide uh, the data event and the listener what it will do is just uh, find that listener and stop it from firing and the way it does that essentially is by removing that listener from the array of listeners that are listening for the data event inside the emitter class the emitter object that you have all right guys so this is the video um, go ahead and subscribe uh, if you like these videos and you want to uh, uh, know when they're coming up uh, hit the like button if you like them and uh, if you've got questions go ahead and ask me in the comment section i will respond and i guess i'll see you next time bye